Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike, we have returned from Los Angeles. Randy and I brought two cars back, and yes siree, they did make it. But I'm back in Tulsa with my friends here. Yep, that's lovely legend right there. This is the lovely S600 V12, which has developed a bit of a squat. Yep, she is sitting very, very low. There's the squat. The valve block is right under this cover, right under here, right here. Because there's no hydraulic fluid anywhere, well, we know that the valve block has a leaking solenoid. Okay, so what we're going to address today is that. First things first, though, we got to give her a start, which, if you know Mike, the battery's going to be dead. See, let's, see, look, it doesn't even come on. There's no lights, there's no nothing. So the battery's dead, which means of course, hey Mike, how are you? We gotta change the battery. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Every time I get in one of these stupid cars, why do I focus on Mercedes? Why do I do it? Why do I do it? The battery is dead. So we'll put a new one in, we'll give this guy a charge, then we'll back out the car. New battery is attached, all is well. We're gonna give her a start and we're gonna back her out. Let's do that. All right, we're still dealing with that horrible red. Yeah, I can't, who thought that would be a good look for this car? I don't, I have no idea. Anyway, let me show you what's, Lola, please don't, okay? Let me get under here by myself. Let me show you what's happening. That is the valve block right here. So you wanna make sure you have two electrical connectors, make sure you get them back in the right spot. Cause if not, your car is gonna act all kinds of wonky. Fuel pump, fuel filter, valve block, accumulator, and there's another one back around there. So we're gonna drain the fluid, and then we are going to remove the valve block, okay, which is gonna be so much fun, especially with two dogs trying to lie down right on top of me, yay. <laughs> Let's go, yo. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. And here's the offender. Yep, that's the valve block right there. One, two, three, four little solenoids. You wanna make sure yellow, yellow, red, red. And then you've got blue and green. Sometimes they give you a dot on the top, sometimes not. So you want to take a picture, yellow, red, blue, green. And you want to make sure they go back in exactly the same way. So we'll take it inside and we'll get to the surgical part of today's video. Welcome to my laboratory right here, also known as my island in the kitchen. So anyway, this is the valve block, and to get these solenoids off, it's, this was easy, okay? This was much easier than we did on Rusty. Let me put the camera down, and you guys can kind of watch with me and see how this works. Basically, all you do is you turn this lefty-loosey, and they pop right out. This was super easy to do, and you want to keep them in exactly the right position. So this one, these came out with, look at that, for Rusty, I literally had to pull and pull and pry and pry. These things just popped off. Okay, so we'll drain this. We'll give it a good cleaning with some brake cleaner. And then when you buy the X8R kit, you get all kinds of things. You get little stickers to replace the dots that are probably gonna come off. You have your hard washers, you have your soft ones, all these different sizes. And there's a great video online that tells you exactly how to do this. So I'm gonna watch the video there's a little product thing for you right there. And we're going to 
put this all together. Look at all the stuff they have for Mercedes and VWs and everything. That's cool. All right, let's get the video going and we'll fix the valve block. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south, I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud, you can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your f***ing clouds, it be raining now, I keep making sound, go another round, time legend bound, can't stop me now. You don't wanna f*** with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things That you couldn't believe Just tell me Back outside now, under the watchful eye of Lola and Legend, we have fully reassembled the valve block. That's it right there in all of its glory. Okay, now the fun part, making sure all the electrical attachments Go back to the same colors as well as all of the hoses okay so we'll get this back under the car then we're going to fill it up with fluid to make sure she works i may also do something about the red caliper because that's horrible let me show you the work we have just completed there isn't she lovely isn't she wonderful that is a freshly rebuilt valve block and all of the little rubber attachments that uh, kind of hang this thing from the floorboard up there, broke. So I put in some screws and it is attached. It is not going anywhere and I am happy. So with that said, let's go ahead and fill it up, give her a start and make sure that she is leak proof. All right, at the end of the day, we've made an important lesson. Yeah, you gotta make sure those little solenoids are really attached. That's why, yep, you gotta blow out. It literally blew poof, one of the solenoids right off the valve block. And that's the mess. And the dogs couldn't care less. You guys couldn't even care less, could you? You know what I'm talking to you. Okay, anyway, it's holding. We got it fixed, we put it back in, we have checked the fluid, and I believe it is fixed. So what we're gonna do is kind of mark this, and we'll come back tomorrow, we'll make sure that she is still at the right height. Maybe I'll back it up and drive it back and forth a little bit and then we'll get her level. And then we'll check it and make sure that it's at the right height tomorrow. So Legend, Lola, you gonna stay with us? Okay, yeah, look at that face. Oh, look at the sweet facey. Look at the face. All right, we're back soon. It is the next morning and take a look at that. And that mess, that's a hot mess right there. This is a success, all right? It has not moved an inch, okay? It's been more than 12 hours. You're just going to go stand in front, aren't you? Yeah. Thank you for that. You're going to pose? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Anyway, take a look. Has not... Now Lola's going to do it. What is the deal? You guys just want to be on camera all the time, right? Wrong. Okay. So, we're going to call that one ton of money saved. Yep. Thank you again for getting in front of the camera. We fix another valve block. We have done that and we have done it easily, inexpensively, saved a ton of cash, and the S600 lives to see another day. And just like that, we are one step closer to getting the S600 to its final destination. What does the future hold for this V12 Mercedes? You gotta tune in for that. I will tell you the next video, we address that issue right there. Okay, that's one problem. And this one right here, these horrible, horrible hazy lenses yeah the next video includes an oven how's that gonna work yeah we're gonna cook us up some headlights you want to stay tuned for that all right everybody thank you for watching thank you for subscribing i am back with another video very very soon bye bye